Hi everybody, this is Garrett with another episode of Produce Your Freedom, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about couch potato holsters. Uh, I might have just coined that, I don't know, if someone else has, great. Uh, but what I'm referring to here is the type of holster that you can use um, to carry a firearm while you're wearing your, your pajama pants or your, your gym shorts or whatever, or, you know, that type of clothing around the house kind of lounging around and still have a firearm on you in case you need to run out to the store or something. You don't have to go, oh wait, let me go change into my 5.11s with my, uh, you know, my big tactical holster belt and then go put this holster on. No, trying to make it simple so we can carry something when we're on the house to protect ourselves, just in case we're not in that same room that we keep, whatever else we keep. Um, and we don't have to go with any seats or anything like that. And if we want to run out real quick, we can pretty easily do it. Just makes our lives easier. And if you're someone who carries a firearm for personal protection, I think you should do it in the home as well so that you don't uh, leave other firearms unattended or unlocked or anything like that at any point. And if anything happens, the firearm is in the room that you're in um, rather than being down the hall or downstairs or in the basement or wherever it happens to be. So the criteria for this, in my mind anyways, is we're not going to have any belt holsters because gym shorts and stuff typically don't have belt loops. And if we're trying to be comfortable, we're not going to be wearing this big, you know, thick belt and this holster and all that. Um, I think it should also fit into our normal carry. And what I mean by that is um, it should either be able to serve as a, a holster for a backup gun, if you're someone who does that and carries a secondary firearm, or it should be a holster that can work well with uh, maybe a smaller firearm that you carry when you have to dress a little differently than you typically do and you can't carry that larger firearm. Um, it should probably fit into one of those two purposes. Um, it shouldn't make you lopsided when you're doing this whole normal carry thing. Um, so if you normally carry on your right side, strong side behind your hip, um, your, your couch potato holster probably wouldn't be uh, something that you carry on the right side of your body as well because if you then choose to use it as a, a backup gun holster or anything like that, you'd be extremely lopsided, extremely uncomfortable. Um, so we want it on the opposite side. That's that. This pretty much leaves us, for the popular options, for guys anyways, with a belly band, a pocket holster, or an ankle holster. Now I'll just run through the three really quickly in case you're not familiar with them. Belly band is an elastic band, goes around your midsection. It's got two pockets, typically one on the other side. They're elastic as well. You stick the firearm into the belly band and it is its own little holster, kind of like that. Um, the next one is a pocket holster, pretty self-explanatory, you shove the firearm into the pocket holster, the pocket holster goes in your pocket, and you now have that. There's a bunch of those out there, we're probably familiar with those as well if you're familiar with firearms. And ankle holsters, which you see in um, action movies and police movies and stuff like that sometimes, um, which the proper way to do it if you're a right-handed shooter, it goes on your left leg, and the holster portion goes to the inside of your calf. Um, the correct draw for that, by the way, is you reach down with both hands, pull up the pant leg, shoot back down with your dominant hand, grip the firearm, draw it, and then you're good to go from there. Um, you don't want to grab it with one hand because your pant leg will bind up against the holster. You don't want to grab your pant leg with one hand because as you pull up, it'll snag against the holster and the, and the firearm and you won't get it, you won't get it out. Um, Likewise, with pocket holsters, quick precaution is that you put the firearm in the holster, then the holster in your pocket. That's the safe way to do it because you get the trigger guard covered before you go shoving something into a combined space with your stupid fingers all in there. That's the safe way. That's how you should do it. So I also believe, I'm a big believer, in not constantly changing your holsters and firearms and things like that around because the more repetitions you get um, you know, with your, with your system that you decide on, the faster you get, the smoother you get, and um, in a stressful situation, there's no which one of these three things do I have to do that slows down your thinking when you really have a lot of other things to think about. It's just, this is where it is, and, and that's what I'm going with. So I do have both of these, and I'm currently kind of debating between the two. I just got the ankle holster, so I've been trying that out. Based on what I've seen so far, I think that's going to be my my second way to go. But I'll talk about both of them and, and what I found with each. Um, 
Coming up next, so my two holsters that I have are the Galco Ankle Glove and the DeSantis Nemesis, both for a Smith & Wesson J-Frame revolver. Um, these are pro primarily, this whole category is primarily going to be used with relatively small light firearms um, because anything more than that will not hold up with just the drawstring of, a, of some gym shorts or whatever and frankly would be a little uncomfortable or not even fit under your pant leg properly. So let's start with the Galco Ankle Glove, which is my new one. It's pretty simple. Ankle holster, that's the leather part. Leather part. It's pretty snug, that holds your, holds your firearm. I do recommend if you get one of these, break it in a little bit, draw it in and out a few times. I've been wearing it around the house a few days just to try it out. It's a neoprene stretchy material. Plenty of Velcro type surface to grab here. Plenty of Velcro to grab it with here. And the nice part that makes it so comfy is this kind of sheep's wool type material that is on the exact opposite side from where the firearm is so that outline of the firearm doesn't really dig into your leg so much. It also has a little buckle here which you can get this strap that runs up here and then there's like a garter type thing uh, to keep it from slipping down. This thing is so secure I don't see any need for that. It doesn't come with it uh, from my knowledge, at least mine didn't, but I don't see the need for it. Um, this thing is great, it's comfortable. Um, people I can see this working well for. Uh, first of all, it works when you don't have a very strong drawstring on your gym shorts or pajama pants because it's not dependent on that. It also probably would work well on a regular basis, your normal carry, for people who sit a lot. If you're in a car a lot, you know, it could be uncomfortable to have your seat belted in, you're snug against the back of the seat, a lot of people carry behind the hip, and that can give you back problems if you drive a lot of hours. Likewise, at an office, although you're not as restrained, it can still make you uncomfortable. I, I know it's happened to me. Um, this has none of those issues. It's secure. Um, it's really easy to get to from a seated position. A pocket holster is really hard to get to from a seated position, usually because if you have like a jeans pocket it, and you're trying to pull it straight up and out, you really can't do that because um, it's folded kind of in towards you. My other holster is the DeSantis Nemesis, which I also like a lot. Um, it's a rubbery kind of material, these old dimples that grip the inside of your pocket, squares up on the bottom to fill it out, make sure that makes sure it doesn't come out with the firearm when you try to draw. It's got a little hole in the bottom to let the pocket lint and stuff get out of there. And this particular one, I forget what they call it, but it came with a, um, there's a Velcro strip here, and it came with a flap that you could Velcro on there, and it would kind of wrap around here and block the outline, I guess, break up the outline of the, of the handgun a little bit. I didn't really find a need for it. If your pocket's decent sized, it, it works well without it. Um, and if not, it actually adds too much bulk in my opinion. Plus it squares off up here, so it gives it more of a squarish outline, but that kind of made it more difficult to draw. So I took that off and left it. Also a good holster, great if you're in a hot area. Um, you know, this ankle thing might not work for you because you might be wearing shorts a lot. Um, I'm up in New England, so I can pretty much get away with a pair of pants around, around all year and be pretty comfortable uh, It's only a few months. Back to not constantly changing your setup around. Um, the only time I could really justify that in my mind is if I did it seasonally once a year. Let's say I switched to a pocket holster on my weak side. When it got warm out and I'm wearing a lot of shorts and I wanted to wear shorts, I could do that, practice the heck out of it, keep it that way for months and months and months and months, and then switch to that ankle holster when I got to wearing pants again. But even that, I'd rather just do the ankle holster. Hope you enjoyed the video. Food for thought. Feel free to comment below. Uh, check out the blog, and remember, produce your freedom or life will produce your chains.